Hey guys, welcome to Cook with Nancy. Today I'm going to show you guys my unique meatloaf recipe with the stuffing inside and the glaze is so good. The sweet and sour glaze and looks glassy and beautifully done. If you're new to my channel or you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now and let's get started with the recipe. And I also have two videos every week. Don't miss out on upcoming videos. In a pan, I'm adding one tablespoon butter. To that, I'm adding two large garlic clove and two large onions thinly sliced. It's always a good idea to use white onions with the meat because it's kind of sweeter and it goes very well with the meat, especially with the meatloaf. Now, I'm gonna saute this until it's nice and golden brown. We don't want it to make it too dark brown. As you can see, it's nicely browning. This is the color that I'm looking for. Now, I'm gonna let it cool down completely before we work on that. Here in large bowl, I have two pounds of lamb. You can use any kind of meat of your choice. To this, I'm gonna add the onions that is cooled down completely. I have some ingredients, salt and pepper as needed, one teaspoon cinnamon powder, one teaspoon turmeric powder, two tablespoon cumin powder, and one tablespoon paprika. Just go ahead and add this to the mixture. One large egg, just roughly beaten, one teaspoon baking powder, one large red apple of your choice. Now go, it's grated, just go ahead and mix them well. Now to this I'm going to add quarter cup of parsley chopped, one teaspoon fresh thyme. If you can find fresh thyme, go ahead and add any kind of herb of your choice. Let it marinate while we prepare the stuffing. In a bowl, I'm going to add half a cup parsley and also one large carrot grated. You can add any color carrot, it's totally up to you. Quarter cup of golden raisins or cranberry unsweetened. I have large eggs boiled and shelled. Now just go, go ahead and mix it in a baking tray or any kind of pan that you're gonna prepare your meatloaf. Put the parchment paper. Now add the meatloaf first layer. Any, If you wanna make any shape, it's up to you. I'm gonna just add at least in two inch of thickness. To this, I'm adding the filling and I'm gonna place the eggs into it. Just make a little incision and then just place the egg. You can add two eggs, three eggs, up to you. This is totally optional. If you don't want an egg, just skip it. Now go ahead and put the second layer of meat on top and cover it and make nice good shape of the loaf. Now I'm gonna make two loaves. So this is my first loaf and I'm gonna make second loaf. If you wanna make bigger size, then you can make one big meat loaf. It's totally up to you. That meat loaf looks really good. My oven is also preheating at 415 degrees, depending on your oven, preheat between 400 to 420 and bake it for 40 minutes. Here I have raisins, quarter cup. I also have pomegranate molasses. If you can't find this, you can use brown sugar. That also works great. Or you can use um, any other molasses. Here I have three tablespoon oil. Use any neutral oil. Now go ahead and pulse it until it's nice paste. It's okay if there is a little bit of berries. Don't worry about it. Now take the meatloaf quickly and brush it with this beautiful glaze on top. You don't want to keep the meatloaf very long outside. You want to put it back in the oven once you brush this beautiful glaze on top and keep it another 10 to 15 minutes until the glaze is nicely done. As far as the glaze, if you don't want to use the raisins, you can use uh, any kind of berries like cranberries or barberries, but make sure it's unsweetened. Now the meatloaf is done perfectly. I'm going to transfer this and also make sure your extra glaze from the pan, do not throw it away. Just use the glaze to brush on top of the meat and also keep the meat 10 minutes before you cut them. Now I'll show you guys how it looks from inside. That meat is perfectly cooked and look at those guys, the stuffing and the egg. It's so good, so good. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos. I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care guys. Bye-bye.